Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a haul and I am so excited to be filming this because I haven't done a haul in really what feels like an eternity and I'm also really excited because I want to get into these products so bad. They arrived yesterday um, but because I don't get my mail delivered here, I get it delivered to my parents house. I got it um, at dinner time and I was like had to hold back so much from opening everything. It was very painful but I held back for you guys so that I could show you how it came packed and I, we could discover everything together. I did buy two things from iHerb because I forgot to buy them from Korea Depart and this iHerb stuff ships so fast. I freaking love iHerb. If you guys want to buy supplements, food, makeup, beauty, skincare, anything like that, they have everything that you need. I will leave it linked off down below if you guys do want to check iHerb out. I have done so many iHerb hauls. Just go onto my channel and search iHerb. I have all sorts of stuff. I did buy more than just this from iHerb, but it was food. So I can show you guys iHerb haul at a later date if you want to see more of them. But this is a beauty haul, so we'll just stick to the beauty for now. So the first thing that I got from iHerb is this, and this is a face cream. And the reason why I got this is because I wanted to buy a Korean face cream because basically Korean beauty is like 10 years ahead of the Western beauty world, and it's just like really, really amazing. So this is the Nature Republic Super Aqua Max combination watery cream. Now they have a few different ones. They have the green one, a blue one, and an orange one. I think the orange one is like really really hydrating and the blue one is less hydrating. This one's in the middle. Basically it's like a watery gel as you can imagine. It's just sort of like a gel consistency and I find that it gives a good amount of moisture at night time. Sometimes I think it might not be quite enough but my skin always feels moisturized when I wake up in the morning. And it was like $14 and it's got like a glass bottom, like such great quality. So that was the first thing. And the second thing that I got, I'm not gonna talk too much about today, but it is the Elizaveca Bird Spit Mask. The proper name is the Gold CF Nest Collagen Gel Pack Mask. And I have filmed a first impressions on this, so I'm not going to talk about it at all. But basically it's a peel off mask. And if you want to know more about this, give this video a thumbs up and I will upload that first impression for you guys very, very soon. Moving on to Korea Depart. There are two shipping options, I just wanted to explain this first. The first one is standard, the second one is EMS. Now EMS um, takes two to eight days, working days, and the other one takes three to four weeks. I was like, I don't want to wait three to four weeks. Um, this box cost me 60 New Zealand dollars to ship. I've never done that before in my life, I don't know what came over me. Um, I don't know if the other shipping option is worth it. If you guys have ordered from Korea Depart and you've used the cheapest shipping option, which is still like $35 New Zealand, um, but I spent $100 $200 on stuff, so, you know, kind of <laughs> kind of evens out. But if you guys have ordered using the other option, let me know because I'd love to know for next time. So this package took three weeks to arrive from the day that I purchased it. The reason why it took so much longer than it should have, it should have been way quicker to ship, is because one of the things in my cart... Um, I purchased it and then it went out of stock after I'd bought it, so they were waiting for it to come in. Which I wish they had given me the option because I would have just told them to forget about it. But anyway, it only took about 5-6 or so days to ship once it had actually shipped, if that makes sense. Like the delivery process was quite fast. Anyway, moving on, I've got 17 things in here, so I'm really, really excited. The packaging is phenomenal. It's got so much ugh, bubble wrap, I'm going to be recycling this. And then once you open it, each product is individually wrapped. Let's start off with the sample bag. It just came in a little baggy, and this is what I got. I got a sunscreen sample, just looks like that. Got a Misha BB cream sample. Got a Super Aqua replenishing or refreshing pore foam sample. Seems like a waste of packaging, because this is just like... It could be that small. Anyway, and the last thing I got was a mask. I have no idea what brand this is from. Looks like 005 Vitamin, or I don't know. It's just a, um, a face mask. But I know that Vitamin C is really good for your skin, and it's really big in Korean skincare. So I will definitely give that a go. Now we're into the stuff that I actually bought, which is super exciting. The first thing I got, kind of because it was funny, I will put all of the prices down here. They will be in US dollars, because that's how they are on the website. Just in case you're wanting to know how much everything cost. The first thing that I got is this, and this is the SOS My Lips Patch from Berry Som, which is... I don't really know much about this brand. I don't really know much about a lot of these brands. I bought quite a few new brands for me. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's basically one of those um, hydrogel masks for your lips. I've got a few things for lips in here because my lips have been so dry lately. Right now I'm wearing one of the melted lipsticks from Too Faced. So my lips are quite hydrated because they're quite hydrating. But man, they're so dry. So I bought these 
because I thought they would be good to try. You get five in a box, which I thought was a good deal. So I'll let you know how these go. They're kind of weird, but I wanted to try them anyway. So I saw that Shannon has done a video on the Medicube Plus cushion and I wanted to give it a go. Could you guys let me know down below if you wanted to see my first impressions on this because I usually um, only wear light coverage and this is full coverage, but I wanted to give it a go anyway. This was quite expensive, so if you guys want to see my impressions of it being a super duper pale person, please let me know. I got the shade 21, which hopefully will be light enough, but I really wanted to give this a go because I do like having a really nice coverage, but I hate having heavy makeup, so I'm hoping that this will be nice and lightweight. So do let me know if you want to see my impressions on this. Now this next product is one that I've heard Sally talk about heaps. I don't know if it's this exact brand, but I know this one is really popular. And the brand that I went for was Petit Fee, or Petit Fee, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and it is the Golden Snail Hydro Gel Masks for eyes, eye patches. Um, and basically what it is, it's a little container like this and you unscrew it. Oh, I'll open it for you guys so you can see. Give me a sec. So what they are is just these little teardropped sort of hydro gel little masks and they're all individual and they're soaked in this essence or eye cream and they're supposed to make your under eyes really hydrated. I bought this because of my dermatitis. I thought it might be good. Oh, there's a little spatula. I love getting these sorts of things. But yeah, I thought it would be good for my dermatitis just to make sure that my under eyes are really, really moisturized. So I thought I would pick those up and they weren't very expensive. And I think you get like 50 or 60 in here. Now this product is one that I'm really excited about as well. It's also from Petite Fee or Petit Fee. And it is the Oil Blossom Lip Mask Night Care. And it's basically a overnight lip treatment. I'm really, really excited. I decided to go for this one over the Laneige one is because this is more affordable. And I thought that you guys might like to see an impression on one that's not like super duper popular because the one that most people talk about is from a brand called Laneige and it's really, really um, pricey comparatively. So I thought I would try this one out for you guys. Doesn't really have a huge smell to it. It does have a little bit of a scent, but it looks like this and you do get a little um, scooper that you can scoop it out with to keep it hygienic, which I really, really like. Now the next product is one that I just need to really quickly explain. Basically, I love the Skin79 Hot Pink BB Cream in the circle, circular sort of cylinder container. And I saw this one, which is pretty much exactly the same as the Hot Pink one as well, but it's just in a tube like this. See ya. It's just in a tube like this. I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but this was half price, so it was like $6.79 US or something, whereas the, um, the normal one is like way more expensive, so I thought I would try this out and see if it's the same product, because if it is, I'm going to be absolutely stoked, because that BB cream is my favourite BB cream I've ever used. Um, it looks pretty similar, like, still kind of, you can't really see it, but it's just there. The same grey consistency like most BB creams. I really hope it's the same because I love this BB cream. I was going to buy the actual one but then I saw this one was half price so I thought why not try and see if it's the same formula. Now the next product is from a brand that's supposed to be really great for acne prone skin and for clearing your skin and making it smooth and blemish and hyperpigmentation free. And the brand is called Cosrx or Cosrx and um, they have some really awesome products. This one is the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid, and BHA is a chemical exfoliant, and I think they use salicylic acid in this, but basically this is a chemical exfoliant. I don't know when you use it in your routine. I believe it's after your, you've done your cleanser. Sorry guys, I just had to have a quick read of the packaging. So you basically use this product on a cotton pad after you've cleansed your face and before you moisturize your face. And what this does is this essentially burns off your dead skin cells and your blackheads and leaves you with smoother skin. This obviously is an acid product, so if you have super sensitive skin, wouldn't recommend it, but I will let you guys know very soon how I'm liking this. I'm sorry if my hair is really fluffy. It's just fluffy no matter what I do lately. I don't know what it is, but I cannot get it to sit nicely. Next, I have a hair product, which is a little bit different because I don't normally buy Korean hair products, but I saw this in like a top 10 list somewhere on the internet. And this is the Skin Food Apple Mango Volume Essence Mist. And this is supposed to be a volumizing hair serum mist that contains apple mango extract and nourishes limp hair for a fuller, more elastic appearance. I don't really know, this is supposed to be like kind of a detangler and a volumizing treatment so that sounds like a little bit of me seeing as my hair is limp and frizzy all the time. Just gonna give it a whiff. Oh my god it smells amazing. It smells like mangoes. I'm not gonna use this now just because my hair looks 
she doesn't look that great, but you know, it's 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 there. It's doing its thing, so I will use it and get back to you on how I like it. It doesn't say whether to use it on wet or dry hair, so I will do some research and then I'll give it a go. The next product is from Cosirex as well, and this is the Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. And a beauty YouTuber called The Beauty Breakdown recommended this. In one of her videos, she does a lot of stuff about Korean beauty. I will leave her video or her channel linked off down below. And she said this was her favourite cleanser. And um, I've been having a few problems with acne lately. I don't actually have a very good cleanser, so I thought I'd try this out. I do wish I'd bought another cleanser from them. It's called the good morning cleanser or something like that and it's supposed to be really good so I'm gonna buy that when it comes on in stock on iHerb but yeah I can't really get this open I'll try not to there we go hold on you get 150 mils in this and I think it was like $10 US tops which I thought was a really great deal so yeah I'm really excited to give this a go it will be quite a lot of salicylic acid for my skin so I'll probably have to not use this every day because my skin is quite sensitive this seems to be a really creamy formula okay so the next product is a face mask and this one is the only one in here that's like a wash off one it's not a um, sheet mask so this is the skin food rice wash off mask and i've heard so many great things about this i've been wanting to try this for like over a year and it's basically just a chunky but moisturizing mask I don't think this dries down matte, but it sort of just sits on your skin. And because it's got rice in it, rice is supposed to be a really hydrating agent for the skin. It makes your skin really plump and hydrated. I think I've heard Shannon talk about this, or somebody talk about this, and I wanted to try it since then. This is basically a mask that you apply after you've cleansed, and you just rub it into your skin because the rice grains will do a little bit of exfoliating, and then you let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then you wash it off, and your skin's going to be clean and just really soft and supple so yeah i hope this oh my god i can't hold on to products today i hope this works as well as i hope it will or as it says it will because i do need a little bit of hydration in my life and then the last few things are sheet masks i absolutely love sheet masks i'm going through a phase right now and sheet masks are just my favorite so most of these are new and i've never tried them before so yeah let me show you the ones that i chose the first three masks are from Berry Song, which is the same brand as those lip masks that I bought before. And these are the Soda Bubble Masks. And I'm assuming these are going to bubble on your skin. I kind of hope they will. Um, because I love the bubbling cleanser from um, Elizabeth. So hopefully this does the same thing because that really, really does a great job of like clearing out your pores. But anyway, I got three different ones. This is Pore Tox Fruits. So this would be good for cleaning your pores. Brighton Fruit, which looks like it has citrus. This one has grapes in it. Um, and I'm guessing this one will be really good to brighten your skin and make it look more awake. And then I've also got the Aqua Fruit, which has got, I think that's peach and pink grapefruit, which is going to make your skin moisturized, I'm guessing. I don't really know if these are going to work. They might be crap, but I wanted to give them a go anyway. Oh, I fully forgot to show you guys this. This is the Cosarex Acne Pimple Master Patch. And this is basically the stickers that you put on your pimples that by some magic they're supposed to like pull the pimple out of your skin and clear it out overnight. So you get 24 patches in here of varying sizes, like really huge ones for bigger pimples and then small ones for little pimples that you have. So I picked this up because, I don't know, at the time I had really bad skin but it's kind of cleared up lately because I've been using lots of good skincare because I do already have a whole bunch of Korean skincare. This is just sort of like to top me up but I am still going to buy more because it's my new obsession. But I bought these. Um, me and my partner can both use them so that'll be awesome. The next product is one that I'm pretty sure I've tried. I think the one that I had was from Pity Fee. It's the Golden Snail Hydro Gel Mask Pack. I've used this before, it was in different packaging before and I freaking loved it. It was so hydrating, like so unbelievably hydrating and moisturizing and amazing and my skin felt so good afterwards so I just had to buy another one. Um, it's basically like a hydro gel um, sheet mask and it's, so it's split into two pieces and you put them on one at a time whereas I think all of the other ones I got apart from this one um, are like a sheet mask that's made out of um, blah, 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 cloth sorry I had to like have a thinking moment there the next product is one that I got for my roommate but it is from its skin and it's the Sesame Street hand mask I just thought it was so cute I wanted to show you guys even though I'm not going to be using it she gets really dry skin on her hands so I picked this up for her but how cute is it it's got Whoever that is on the front, Cookie Monster. 
<laughs> That's a bit awkward, yeah. Cookie Monster on the front, which I thought was really cute. The lighting's just changed. I think it's actually gonna start storming in like one minute, so let's wrap this video up very quickly. The last product that I have today is from Vanillico, and it's a hydrogel mask, but this one is lace, like it's got a lace design on it, and it's in the radiant, um, I guess, type? I don't even know, the radiant... Radiant one. Oh, can't even speak. I did buy a calming one as well, but they didn't have it in stock, so they refunded me. Um, and I just got this one, but basically this is another one that's split into two pieces, but it has got like a lace design on it, so I thought it would be cool to do an Instagram on. And I have heard really great things about Vanilla Co, so I did want to try it out anyway. So those are all of the Korean beauty products that I have to show you guys today. Please let me know if you want to see any follow-up videos on them. I'd love to know if you guys would like to see the bird spit first impression if you'd like to see the Medicube first impression I already have one of them filmed so just let me know if you want to see those and I can get them ready for you I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing something different on my channel I'm really really into skincare at the moment so I wanted to share this with you guys if you want to see any updates again do just let me know and would you guys like to see another haul because I kind of think I'm going to buy some more stuff in like another week or another month so do let me know because I can film that for you also I did also want to say a really big thank you for all of my positive feedback and positive comments on my last video it means the absolute world to me and it made me so excited to come and film this video for you guys today because I know that you guys want to see my videos so thank you so much thank you it means so much to me all right I can see the rain rolling in so I am going to go I love you guys thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye